All right, Wranglers, this is Mr. MacArthur, back at you with some music. Woohoo! I know you're excited. Now, we, in our last video that you guys watched for music, we talked about high and low notes, okay? And in music, it's really important to know whether a note is high or low, and to be able to hear it and to be able to know the difference, okay? And I, I just wanted to show you one other thing today to kind of talk about that a little bit more. Uh, because I think, I think we need to talk about things more than once just to give us a little bit of practice and so that we memorize them and we get really good at it, okay? So I want you to look right here. Do you guys remember we talked about the treble clef? And it's spelled T-R-E-B-L-E. -E. It's almost like treble, but it's not. It's treble, okay? This is the treble clef, and if you look, the treble equals high notes, and I drew an arrow that's going up. So that's your high notes, okay? That's this treble clef right here. Okay, and then down here, we have the bass clef. And you can see I wrote bass equals low, and then I drew an arrow going down, okay? So we got, we got to always remember, treble clef is the high notes, bass clef is the low notes, okay? Just to help you remember that from last time. And if you look right here, I'm going to switch sides. If you look right here, do you guys remember how last time I drew a ladder? And I put the, this down here would be the bottom of the ladder, so that would be the low notes. This right here would be the top of the ladder, so that would be the high notes. And this one right here is kind of in the middle, isn't it? It's kind of in the middle. Does it remind you of this? This is a middle C, this is also a middle C. So here's something, these are the notes in the middle. Now I want you to notice what I did. Do you see how I kind of drew these dotted lines for the treble clef and the bass clef? But so what I did is I want you to think of it like a ladder, okay? Like we talked about before. Here's your low notes, your high notes. And what I did is I used purple and I kind of drew these in to make it look like this one. But I want you to look, it looks just like a ladder, doesn't it? So you can think of this as like a ladder too. Here's the top of the ladder and then you have all the, the, the rungs in the ladder that you step on, right? And then here's the low part of the ladder. All right, so high and low. And you guys, this is what you need to remember. Treble clef, bass clef, okay? Treble clef, bass clef, high and low, okay? So kindergartners and first graders, I have a video that I'm gonna show you now that has a couple songs that just has high and low. You can listen to them a couple times, try to sing with them if you can, okay? You can go back and listen to them more than once. Okay, but it's gonna talk about high and low, so I want you to watch that. Second graders, I also want you to watch that, but then second grade, I have a, something a little bit more for you to do after, okay? All right, guys, and remember, if you have any questions, you can come to my office time and talk to me in a Zoom meeting every, every school day at 11 o'clock, okay? 11 o'clock, and um, your teachers, they have all of that information on how on how to to join my zoom meeting okay all right guys do you have any if you have any questions please don't hesitate you can email me or come talk to me at 11 in my zoom okay all right well we'll see you after the video to introduce you to a friend of ours. This is Clara the clarinet. Hi Clara. Clara, why don't you show us what you can do? Wow, that was great. The notes started off low. And then they went up gradually higher and higher to the top. What's that? You want to play a game? Great idea! Let's guess if a note that Clara plays is high or low. OK, let's all put on our listening ears and listen carefully for the first note. Hmm, what's that high or low? Let's listen again. Let's 
find out. Ooh, it's moving up. So that note must have been high. It's going higher, higher, through the clouds, up, up. Past Mr. Bird, up and up, all the way to the moon. Wow, that must have been a really high note to reach the moon. Right, are we ready for the next note? Where's this one going to go? Is that note high or low? What do you think? This time it's going down, down, all the way to the ground. It's a low note. I think it's time for the last note. Let's really try and get this one right. Make sure you all still have your listening ears on. Okay, here we go. Wow, that was a good one. Do you think it is high or low? Where's it going to go? Up to the moon or down to the ground? Ooh, it is going lower and lower. So maybe it is going to the ground. Oh no, look what has happened. It has dropped into the pond. It's still going down and down. Past Freddy the fish. All the way to the bottom of the pond. That one was a very low note. Well, that was fun. We hope you had fun too. Thanks for playing with us. Bye bye, bye Clara. Clara. Bye bye, everyone. Click at the top to choose another video, or click on the big red button to subscribe. Picking colored fish passing by. I'm high. I'm low. I'm high. I'm low. There are different levels where you can go. Come and sing together. And let's go high and low. Flying in my air balloon, in my big green air balloon, I am. Swimming deep down in the sea, in the big blue open sea, taking colored fish passing by. I'm high, I'm low, I'm high, I'm low. The different levels where you can go, come and sing together, and let's go high and low. Yo ho! Okay, I'll see you guys next week. I'll have a couple more videos for you guys to watch. Uh, second graders, uh, I want you to hang around and I want you to watch the next part of the video and it's, it has to do with the notes of the treble clef, okay? And start teaching all those notes, okay? And first graders and kindergartners, if you wanna watch the rest and see if you can learn them too, that's totally fine. If, uh, if you've got all your other work done and that's something you wanna do, I think that's awesome, so. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time, okay? I miss you, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.